Okay, so we're in the Trials Evolution Editor, and today I'm going to show you a few useful tricks that I've learned, picked up through my experience with the editor. Um, hopefully, it will help you to build or to make better tracks. It will help you to understand a bit more of the possibilities of this actual editor. So, we're going to start off with in object properties of any object. For those of you who don't know, you get the option for some of these properties to pick the value object. So as you see down the bottom there, it gives you the option to press Y to pick the value object on a, quite a few of these. And basically I'm going to show you how this works. So if you go into your triggers and events, all the way to data source, down to variable, pop one of these out and these will allow you to attach any of these any of these properties to this data source so for this example I'm going to use the gravity to turn the gravity on and off so I press Y to pick the value attach it to the data source now this is set to zero so the gravity is still off if I was to set this to one the gravity would be on but if you wanted to trigger that off it's pretty simple. Just grab yourself in events, you want to grab yourself a set value event. Pop that out. Let's pop it up next to it, get it clean. Make it look a bit better. You want to keep it on set to one because there's only on and off really that you're going to need. And then you can just use a trigger to attach that. Or oh, sorry, you can use the trigger to set that value of this data source to one in turn turning the gravity on on the rider I believe I think I've put it on the rider obviously you can you can use both here you can attach the rider and the bike to it which will turn the gravity on and off on both the rider and the bike so as soon as I hit that trigger the gravity goes off another example instead of using the trigger you can obviously use your buttons or triggers or even your sticks controller sticks so I'm going to go ahead and choose this and attach that to that on press so now when I press as soon as I, I do that it's going to go obviously you can use any button or trigger you want or any left stick right stick even if you're not actually using the bike and rider it still works and if you want to obviously turn it back off so say we're, we'll go back to the trigger method here so this trigger will turn it on and to turn it off all you have to do is set it back to zero simple as that so you're going to want another trigger to flick that off and now once you hit this first trigger it will set that on set it off Okay, so another useful thing I'm going to show you with the data source. So we're popping up one of these out. Is you can actually control the angular motor of any object that you have a physics joint attached, or even the linear motor. So if you've got a slider on instead, this will work the same. So you're going to want to go ahead and make. I'm going to use a custom collision here. Basically, what you want to do if you just want to try this out, you want to. Switch, get your physics joint out, switch this to user defined, select your first target, select your second target, so you've got your your rotation in there. Uh, if you turn the physics oh if you turn the physics on, it won't really do a lot because of the weight and it's pretty much dead straight anyway. So if you want obviously you can use this angular motor to turn that itself and that will turn that around. But there is also another thing you can do using the data source. Uh, you can attach this target velocity to your data source. So now this is controlling the angular motor on here. So now obviously like, like before it's set to zero so there will be no movement on it. And you can either trigger that off 
or use the triggers and buttons and the left sticks and right sticks. So I'll give you an example of how I've used this in a track of mine. Go ahead and load up. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of things here. I don't really. Problem with me is I start so I can never end up finishing it. Uh, what we're we gonna use? Uh, Robot Free Throw. Uh, this is a simple skill game, simple bicycle game, where uh, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll test it out just to show you quickly. So the left and right stick control the arms and the right stick's the shoot. So left and right stick is going up and down and the right stick is controlling this bit here and obviously you just shoot. I'm probably going to miss this. Yeah, I'm gonna, I've missed that. But this is how it's working. So I'm a bit messy in this editor by the way. I don't, I don't really tidy things up at all. I know where everything should be and where everything is. So this is one of the four motors attaching the arms and this is going to this data source these are your set value events you've got the increase set and decrease and then the three these three here are just splitters so you can separate these two controller inputs so when you press the left analog stick left it will increase it by 100 and as you can see there on press and on release, when you release the left analog stick, it will set it back to zero, which will stop the movement. And the same with the other. And if you want to speed up your motor, you basically have to play around with this, get the right settings you want. Obviously, the higher the number, the faster it will be, the lower, the slower. Hey. Anyway. So, yeah, that's. That's controlling your rotations. There's also a few other things you can do with it, but it's not really that interesting, to be honest. I mean, you probably won't have to use those sort of things.